everyone, this is Sam Craig the Heart, and I wanted to share with you guys the projects that I made for the Spellbinders Weekenders event. So I actually really liked the event. I really liked most of the projects that we made. Um, I actually liked almost all of the, um, what do you call it, the items that we got in our kit. So just a quick reminder of most of the things we got in our kit. I think I brought pulled everything out. Um, we got this embossing folder, which is called Lush Leaves. We got um, this one, which what they did was they had each of the people who are presenting or teaching in the classes, it was like they designed the products. So this is Vicki Papineau. She designed this one, which is these tunnel clouds, which I really can see a lot of uses for that. And it came with like a sun and, and clouds, moon and stars. And then um, we got these sort of accompanying um, dies and I think there's some plans for some of these things I'm showing you to have accompanying products or other products that go with these so this one is um, the other thing we got with it include like an airplane and a kite and so I really like that a lot and then same with this I think they're looking at designing um, this is sunset in a glass but other things maybe that fit in the glass um, so one of the things that we got that kind of worked with this um, sunset in a glass was this sort of tropical themed um, items and then this one right here I, I'll be honest this really isn't my jam I don't really like these sorts of ones where the pieces all fall out and you got to kind of put them all back together kind of drives me nuts um this is yana and it's the poppy so this might go into my d sash so if you says something you like you might find that in my d sash which is i'm going away on a trip and basically i cleaned up my craft room took an entire week and i did not have enough boxes i think it's gonna be like 30 boxes it's gonna be my biggest sale ever and i'm gonna have a video that kind of talks about what's in the boxes and how much they cost and all of that um, when I get back from my trip I'm going on a little trip so that one and then this one right here which I only made one project with it but one of the things I really like it it's pretty humongous I, I it makes a very very large project so like a five by seven card if you're going to use the entire bicycle um, I think it'd be really great like to decorate like a gift bag I think that would be amazing there's a piece in here and one of the uh, bonus cards to make like a pop-up card I can do that I, I might you know try to work on that this summer um, this one right here and this is Nic um, Nicole Spore this one is actually two kind of there's like a little accompanying stamp um, die you know um, that goes with the larger one there I just combine them all on one um, and then of course there's the large um, thing, the, um, embroidery hoop whatever I am not a fan of spellbinders packaging putting everything on the tape I mean as soon as you use it the tape comes up and then it's just slipping and sliding all in it's just it's pretty awful um, and so if it's something that I really like, I, I have to put it on on a sheet. Otherwise, it's just, it's a hot mess. So that is my one complaint about Spellbinders is their packaging is crap. So I'm not a fan of it. Um, but this is really cute. And one of the things is it goes well with a couple of sewing things that I got recently. Spellbinders Club Kit last month was sewing themed. And the La, La Land Crafts Kit for this month is sewing themed. So, um... I've got a lot of leftover um, things that we I cut that and paper and whatnot that I would like to maybe, you know, I've got a whole box of scraps and things that I've stamped and cut. And I, I mean, I've got things that I like cut and colored that I'd like to make into projects. And so I really liked this one. This was cute. And apparently there's going to be maybe some other things possibly that go with this one as well. We got some gems. Um, we got some stamps that all sort of went with all of these products. Um, this one right here, Shine Bright. I, I'm on the fence about this one, so I'm kind of figuring out 
how I feel about using it because, um, I don't know. I, I do like the dies. We'll see. So there's that one. And then the projects. Okay, so let's get to the projects. Some of these projects that I made were um, bonus cards and some were cards that were the main portion of the event. And some of them I sort of um, adapted based on, you know, things that I had or if I had to, you know, sometimes they give you quite a bit of paper, but sometimes you don't cut it right or you don't cut it in the right place. You're not utilizing the paper well or maybe, you know, some of these cards required something else that wasn't in the kit. So that that's that. But um, so I kind of adapted, but I I really like this one. I like it. I like the colors. Um, I kind of adapted a little bit here and there, but um, I love this. So this is just using that sunset cup and it's using our glass and then it's using this 3D embossing folder. I, I just really like that and the colors. And then this was the first card that I made and I totally messed up. So we ink blended and then um, I ran it through my embossing folder, the Lush Leaves, backwards. And so, um, yeah, so the part that I inked was the reverse. And, and it doesn't look bad. It actually is kind of a cool use of it. So it's more of a debossed kind of image. Um, so anyway, I kind of screwed that up, but I still think it looks good. So, you know, it happens. Um, and then here is this one right here. So this was a really fun technique, which I am definitely going to consider using again. And that is we created a galaxy background and then we used um, the inside piece of the uh, cup. What is it? The glass, cocktail glass to cut out the inside of the drink in there and I really really like that and then we utilize pieces from some other things here and I just really like how that came out so I, I think that's a really fun technique and then this one right here and one of the things we got that I love is we did get a little jar that's all kind of dirty of their watercolor um splatter that they have and I really like that a lot so we get a little jar of that we utilized it quite a bit so this one we went ahead and we used that folder and just the little pieces from that additional cocktail glass with the splatter and I just think it's fun it's just that one and then this is the two cards we I made using the Yana's poppy and I, I kind of played around with it a little bit and kind of, it's just not my jam. So it'll almost likely go into my um, de-stash. I will say that most of the products I'm probably going to keep out of this one, which is not always the case. So, you know, I like that. But um, we did some ink blending here and we used some Copic coloring. Um, she also used pencil to shade hers. I did not do that um and so there's this one right here and then um this one right here and i mean i think they're pretty it's just i have like a ton of pink fresh studio that i like so much better and um i just don't like all the fussy pieces it's just not my jam i know other people don't mind it but um because when you cut this out, these pieces are loose. So you have to fill them in or you have to maybe use a little bit of a thicker paper so it doesn't um, fall out when you lift it off of your mat. You can then um, use some tape in the back to kind of keep the pieces together, which is what I did. And it worked, but um, it was just a little not my, my jam. So just because I have other florals that I like better. But... Um, here is one of the cards that we made with um, Nicole Spore. Actually, this is the only card I made with Nicole Spore. Um, and one of the other designers is for this card. But um, I like it, and I see how I can 
maybe adapt this with some sewing products that I like I just talked about recently that I got and then here is another card very kind of a simple card but I think it's cute and then here's the one card that I made so the thing about it is is that I did not adjust like where where I needed to to do my stenciling on this page and so I didn't leave myself sort of enough space so it kind of became a problem when I made my card front so and this is also where I screwed up too because I should have just cut this here and then put this on a white card base and then I would have had this pink piece to use but I did not do that and so I was a pink piece short and so when I made this card I didn't have a pink front but I happened to have these pink five by seven cards I have no idea where they came from that was perfect so it worked out and then here is one of the cards um, using all of the cloud products and I really like it. I have a couple different sort of tunnel style dies. I think Law on Crafts has a couple and I really like them, but this is a clouds one. This is one way we kind of cut the clouds. Um, but I really like that look and you could use mounting tape and kind of make it more dimensional. So that was fun. And then here is the giant card. So this one we made into a um what do you call this into like a shaped sort of card and i like that that's big it's like five by seven so i'd have to make my own envelope or i'd have to go inside the gift bag which is what i do sometimes when the cards are odd shaped i don't even do an envelope i just put it on top <laughs> and then it's just like part of the gift and nobody seems to mind when i do that i mean it's not a big deal because people really know most of the time that I make my cards. Um, so, you know, this one was kind of the first card. Well, I think it was the second card I made. But it was a learning process of understanding how the pieces fit together. I think I put it together and I would cut my die cut pieces better knowing what I know now. But um, I actually surprisingly really liked this. Usually I don't like all these little fussy pieces and whatnot. But... This one came together very nicely and some of those small fussy pieces are together so you'll see like they're not separate so all the fu fussy pieces are um, attached together so you might have to cut them multiple times if you want different colors but I like the fact that each one it, like it's not just one tiny little flower it's, it's like three put together and it just makes it a little bit more manageable the big pieces I didn't even bother putting in on a sheet and if you're wondering about these big plastic I love these actually um, and this one also came I think from the same place and this one too because they three different sizes uh, from Daiso I know this from Daiso and I forgot I had them but then when I was organizing I found them all so I am going to be away for a week and then when I come back I hope to make a video just kind of talking about um, you know, the plans for my big sale, it is huge. I got rid of half of my paper, so it is huge. And there is going to be like all my Maggie homes just about, it's going to be in there when I have left, um, it's going to be planner stuff. I've got some very rare, um, stamps from, um, God, I got one of the planner ladies, I forget her name right now, but, um, I'm just saying goodbye to it. I actually have a couple other places I need to kind of look. So it, it's it's big. I am getting rid of a lot of things. So um, if you have any questions, let me know. But yeah, I'm going to do a video that talks about it. Anyway, thank you for watching. This is Anya Pray at the Heart.